face the door. If you look at yourself in the mirror, you should not be able to see your fist. Just pull it back. And if it, if it feels a little too tight, just kind of lower it a little bit. There we go. That's where your that's your chamber. That's where your chamber should be. Okay. I know. <laughs> in the beginning, I, I'm, I'm very lax. I'm like everybody's got their chamber here. So now we need to kind of. And you're gonna feel this. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so our very first movement is suppress the tiger has the dragon. And we've you've seen this already. This is in our brain section. Oh, yeah. So this is our suppress the tiger address. This is our low block. Okay. Next one's gonna be new. Let's see, let's see in the mirror. Yeah. Suppress the tiger has the dragon. Oh, Rosswin bends a little. Oh, we'll stop there. <laughs> That's <laughs> this is a lot. Um, I say this is a lot, but. Um, we're gonna, we've already learned that this is this is away from the body. We're still away from the body. Put all of our fingers together. Lock. And then crosswind, we're doing a hook with our hand. It's coming right across our stage. Good. Our next one's gonna be our push the flower up the sleeve. And our last one's gonna be one finger device china. Good. This is the first five moves. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a bunch of moves in between, but then what we will we will usually do is we will we were doing our poison hands drills. We would switch to the other side. Let's press the tiger head dragon. Felix in the mirror. Crosswind bends the willow. Push the flower up the sleeve. One finger device check. I'm not gonna do the press the nose. It's hard not to. It's I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've, I've done that before. It was like, oh yeah, I just want to keep up. And then it confuses the students because like, oh no, what was that sixth move and that seventh move? They're right, confused. Right. Anyway, <laughs> so you get taught in classes. There's a once you learn it, you start to get this muscle memory, and then you have this momentum, and you can't mm -hmm. stop that momentum. Mm -hmm. so, so it's a it's a weird it's a weird concept. We kind of in class are like, oh, we're in the teaching mode, and it's like it's hard to get your brain out of I'm running this routine mode and go back into teaching mode. It is so hard. Okay, here we go. Press tiger head dragon, Felix in the mirror, crosswind bends the willow, press the flower up the sleeve, one finger device check. Let's go to the other side, Let's press tiger head dragon, Felix in the mirror, crosswind bends the willow, push the flower up the sleeve, one finger device check. Um, okay. Peach yes, sir. So, um, we're in a pandemic, so it makes some of this stuff difficult. What we normally do now is we would punch each other in the chest, and then we would use these blocks against those punches. So, um, this would be a down block. This would be a block to push, punch away from the side of the face. Hooking into the punch. Technically, this would be more for a kick, but it's difficult for us to train this one, so we usually we do it with the punch. Um, push the the sleeve, and then your one finger device china. So the one finger device china is two parts of the block and a grab. So this signifies, if you've never seen this, it signifies a grab. Um, and then the next part Mr. Nelson was doing was just pull. This grab pulls. <laughs> it's, it's um, have you done that application? Have you seen the application? Uh -huh. uh, I don't like having it done to me. Um, do it to me. <laughs> okay. It's a, uh, what's what happened is if you do your, if you do your punch, I come up and I do my grab. Yeah, oh. see, you felt that, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. That's why I don't like having it done to me. It um, it whip flashes. Um, and Are you training with your weight? Yeah. So okay. it doesn't take much. Uh, let me try it with my arm. Right here. It's not as much. Yeah, it felt that way more. Than yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's going to be a bit of that, that waist pull and a little bit of this this pull. When you get okay. both of them, okay. Uh, there's another one that we do in Tai Chi where it's like you grab somebody and you have them here, and then you pull down, and at the same time that you're pulling down. Bend at the knees. So actually pull them down back to grab them. Oh, yeah. And it's another one that kind of does the whip flash. Okay. Um, yeah. That's why I don't like this one. Because they're going to pull, and then I'm going to push, and pull again. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it, it gets you right here. It's like the first time I had that done to me, I did not want to have that again. Is um, it possible for us to do the poison hands drill? I mean, because we're both working at home these days. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay, hold on. Let me just let's just work. You got one? I, I, I love that. Yeah. 
it's a good drill. It works. Um, makes you remember it. It makes you remember. That's why I was that's, upset that we're kind of in this. That's what helped me remember. And then get it up, get it up onto your forearms. This is a blocking drill. Um, we're gonna go. You get some, go. Yeah, we'll go slow. Let's go slow and let's go soft. Um, yeah. Here's what happens with this one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's what's gonna happen. Dude. You're gonna you're gonna wind up with bruises all the way up and down your arms. Um, it is not a joke. Um, that will happen. Um, we had a lot of people. It's just like, um, it's like a lot of times it'll happen. Like you come in today and you get bruises from today. And on Thursday, it's like, oh, my bruises are feeling pretty bad. And then you open them up and make them bigger. Mm -hmm. so and then, then what you do is you start to learn how to do your block a little more effectively so you don't bruise as much. So you guys are going to face each other. You're going to start off with fingers straight out. And this is so that whenever you curl those fingers in and you make a fist, you're not going to be able to actually hit each other. Okay? When we do this drill, we're not doing our punches like we normally do. We're not, we're not doing a full punch. Your shoulders stay still, and when, you, when, you, when you're done with the punch, it comes back to chamber, you're going straight forward. This is not a punching drill, this is a blocking drill. So the person punching is not the one doing the training, the person doing the blocking is the one doing the training. Okay, so, okay. so I'm going to have Mr. Nelson, you're going to throw the first punch, and you're going to push down, that's your spread fire head dragon. You're going to do a second punch, you're going to do your death. You're going to look in the mirror, cross one bend the willow, you're going to hook in, you're going to hook over, and push. Yes, and then next one, which start with sleeve, and then your last one is going to be that block. And this one's going to be a little bit, your elbow's going to be a little bit further out. Because remember we did that push-up drill, we held it at the bottom. So this is, a, this is, this is weak, this is strong. Yes, because if you have it here, go ahead and put it back here. And then Mr. Nelson, just push in on his, push in on his arm, make it collapse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 so that's why you don't want it to be there, you want it to be out here. Okay. All right, and then you just, uh, just well, let's stay on the right side. We've only got like three minutes. We, we're out of time. We'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Say ting, you say ting. Can you stop what you're doing? Right? Ting. Ting. That's your introduction to ting. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you may notice that the, the, the blocks kind of go a bit high and low for those first two. Kind of stay a little bit high for that last one. Um, this is on purpose. Um, do you remember we, when we learned our punch, kick, punch? Um, it's going to go high. Low, high. So our blocks, our blocks allow us to kind of have that transition from our high to low, and allow us to get that because this would be get that front hand front punch. Make sure you look in the mirror to block it, and then cross one bend the willow to get that front leg front, hand, and then push the flower up the sleeve to get that front hand back punch, back hand front punch. All right. <laughs>